हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द ऑनलाइन सेशंस ऑफ द मटेरियल साइंस एंड मेटालर्जी माय सेल्फ विवेक परेक स्टार्टिंग विद द न्यू यूनिट दैट इज नोन एज एन क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एंड क्रिस्टल ज्योमेट्री सो इन टुडेस यूनिट वी विल बी गोइंग फॉर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द एटम्स अरेंजमेंट एंड वी विल बी स्टडिंग आउट द डिफरेंट सॉर्ट्स ऑफ द थिंग दैट हाउ द एटम इज प्रिपेयर्ड एंड व्हाट इज द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द एफिशिएंसी ऑफ इट व्हिच आर द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द डिफेक्ट्स व्हिच आर अकरिंग इन इट एंड सो दिस आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स व्हिच वी विल बी कवरिंग इन दिस पर्टिकुलर यूनिट सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द थिंग दैट इज नोन एज एंड द नेम ऑफ द यूनिट दैट इज क्रिस्टल स्ट्रक्चर एंड क्रिस्टल ज्योमेट्री this thing falls under the category of the crystallography there are many type of the different things material sciences depend upon that is the metallurgy crystallography metallography so these are the different types of the branches which are there of the particular thing of the metallurgical science that means a material science so today we will be discussing about the thing that is known as an crystallography now what do you mean by this crystallography basically it is the study of the structure that how the crystal is formed that is known as an crystallography it is the branch of the science in which internal structure of the crystal and their properties they are studied that is no comes under the crystallographic way now how does the thing is divided into let us start with the matter what is matter and how does anything that has mass and which occupies the space that is known as a matter matter is divided into three types that is a solid liquid and the gaseous now if we consider it and if we go for the solid the solids are divided into two types they are the crystalline solid and the second one that is known as an amorphous solid now let us discuss what do you mean by this thing crystalline solid they are the solids in which the atoms they are arranged in a particular way that means a perfect manner and amorphous solid they are the solids in which the atoms are located randomly that means wherever they feel whatever they feel in that way they are arranged that is known as an amorphous solid so basically solids are divided into two types amorphous and crystalline so let us discuss about what is the difference between the crystalline solid and the an amorphous solid so let us start the thing the first one it has a definite shape as i told you but it has an irregular shape by random arrangement of atom here crystal they are having a perfect arrangement of the crystal is there melting point they have a definite melting point whereas they have a range that means if you take an iron they are having a crystalline solid iron they are having the melting point of 1539 that means a definite boiling or the melting point is given whereas example is a glass if you take a glass there will be a range in which the melting of that glass will take place that means the melting and boiling there will be a range is given fusion enthalpy is fixed in this whereas fusion enthalpy is not fixed there are the variable things in that fusion enthalpy mean the energy which is required to get bonded of the two different atoms that comes under the fusion enthalpy then comes the when cut with the knife inner surface shows the same as the outer when you cut the crystal into two types the solid into two parts wherever you have taken the cut the surface the interior surface also appears the same as that of the top whereas when cut with the knife the inner surface looks different if you cut the glass from the center what will happen the surface which is cut that appears different as compared to the top surface they are known as an true solids they are known as an super cool solid because amorphous solid they are always cooled rapidly that's why they are known as an super cooled solids order of arrangement is maintained till a long range that means the range in which the atoms are arranged that is up to a very long range whereas only short range order of arrangement is maintained so they are having not a huge change they are a small change but whereas in this type of the thing the order of range is maintained up to a very high level and the examples all the metals are the examples of the crystalline solid whereas glass ceramic the brittle material they are the examples of the amorphous solid clear so now let us begin with the important terms of the unit cell which are the different terms which we should study before going for the thing that is known as an unit cell 
Now let us see this is your unit cell and from this unit cell this crystal lattice has been generated. Let us start with the first one unit cell. It is the smallest group of atom possessing the symmetry of the crystal means how the crystal will look like that is dependent on the unit cell. That means a unit cell is repeated n number of times in every direction that is known as an unit cell. So over here you can see this is your unit cell. The second important term that comes that is a space lattice. Space lattice means wherever the atom arrangement in the pattern, distinct pattern in the space that is known as a space lattice. Space lattice means wherever your unit cell is repeated or is going or moving in all the direction and the space which they have acquired the particular crystal is moving that is known as a space lattice. The third comes the crystal, a solid whose constituent atoms or molecules, they are arranged in a systematic pattern. If in a systematic pattern, the unit cell is arranged, that is known as a crystal thing. This type of the thing, see this is your particular unit cell. Many unit cells are arranged in this thing and as a result, your crystal has been generated. The crystal lattice is formed. Clear? So, these are the three main terms. Let us discuss more terms that is the thing that is the lattice constant. Now, what are the lattice constant? They are the distance from the origin. If you go for the distance of the origin up to this distance 1 in this x direction and z direction, whatever the distance is there, that is known as a lattice constant. It is the constant distance between the center of two atoms in a unit cell. Because here there will be more second unit will be there. On the top there will be another layer and here there will be one more unit will be there. So that means in this way the distance between the two adjacent side from the center that is known as a lattice constant. They are the three dimensional generally referred as A, B and C. Whereas the another lattice angle that means it is the angle between all the three directions alpha, beta, gamma. So three directions which are there that is known as an, the angle between the edges of the unit cell that is known as an alpha, beta, gamma. They are the other parameters. So crystal structure is totally dependent on these two parameters. They are the lattice constant ABC and your angle and we will be getting the different types of the crystal system. There are seven types of the crystal systems which are there on the basis of the parameter that is three sides and three directions. So let us see these are the different types of the things that is simple cubic over here you can see A equal to B equal to C and all the angles are of 90 degree. Then there is a rhombohedral here you can see A equal to B equal to C but the angle they are not equal to 90 degree. Here two sides are equal whereas third side is not equal but all the angles are of 90 degree. If you go for the monoclinic two sides are equal the third side is not equal but the two angles are 90 beta is not 90 and in this way you can see orthorhombic, triclinic and hexagonal. So according to your six parameter three sides and your three angles the crystal system has been divided into seven types and these are the seven types they are simple cubic tetragonal octa uh, orthorhombic hexagonal triclinic monoclinic and rhombohedral structures and after that from this seven crystal lattices it has been divided into 14 brevis lattices 14 brevis lattices you can see over here all the seven things one two three all these seven things they are on the parameters, their parameters are given over here. They are divided into these four types. Simple cubic means the simple cube which we are drawing and only the atoms they are there on the sides or the corners of it. We will study in this lecture only further what is this simple cubic centered, base centered, face centered in this thing. But if you calculate or if you add this all this structure, they are the 14 structures which are there. They are known as an brevis lattice. This is only for the reference. They are not asked in any of the examination. They are only for the references. How many brevis lattices are formed from the crystal structure so that there are total 14 brevis lattices which are there. And moving forward for the types of unit cell, let us discuss that whatever the thing I have told over here, let us discuss this thing in the types of unit cell. The first one which comes that is the simple cubic, second one body centered cubic, 
थर्ड वन फेस सेंटर्ड क्यूबी फोर्थ वन हेक्सागोनल क्लोज पैक ना व्हाट इज द थिंग्स व्हिच आर देयर इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर इन द सिंपल क्यूबिक ऑल द एटम्स व्हिच आर लोकेटेड देयर एट द कॉर्नर ऑफ ऑल द एट एटम्स दे आर लोकेटेड एट ईच एंड एवरी कॉर्नर दैट इज नोन एज एन सिंपल क्यूबिक in bcc all the corners there are one atom located you can see over here but with that there is one more addition that the body centered at the center of the crystal or the unit cell there is one atom which is located that comes under the body centered cubic in the face centered all the six faces are also having the center atom with the eight corner atom that is known as an face centered cubic there are six faces of the cube in which all the center of that all the faces there is a atom located and in an hexagonal closed pack there is one hexagon which is located between that there is a triangle and there is a hexagon located over here this structure that is an hexagonal closed pack the atoms are located on all the corners of the hexagon or top and bottom in the center of the hexagon also there is one one atom plus center three atoms are located so these are the types of the unit cell and we will discuss all this four in a very much detail in this lecture plus as well as in the upcoming lectures also so now let us go further for the some of the remaining terms of the unit cell they are the coordination number that means the number of nearest atom that means the neighboring atom they are known as an coordination number if one atom is sitting if there is a one atom is located over here and there is one atom over here and one here if we want to find out this atom then its coordination number will be 2 one at the right one will be at the left so coordination number will be 2 that means a number or the neighboring atoms the number of neighboring atoms is termed as an coordination number next one atomic packing factor that means in a space let i is how much area is occupied by the atoms the efficiency of this or the factor at which the atoms are located in a space let i is that is known as an atomic packing factor it is the ratio of volume of atom per unit cell upon total volume occupied by the unit cell that means how much free space is there and how much space is occupied by the atom can be find out with the atomic packing factor the formula behind this that is atom shared at the corner divided by 8 atom shared at center divided by 1 and atom shared at the faces divided by the 2 they are coming by the way how much area or how many types of the sharing is there with the atom that is the thing that's why they are here 8 1 and 2 are coming this is for the cubic unit cell this formula is not applied on the hexagonal closed pack in the hexagonal closed pack there will be a 6 will be coming because sharing has been transferred to 6 that's why over here 6 will be coming clear so this is the formula of the atomic packing factor now let us proceed further for the thing how to calculate atom per unit cell in the simple cubic this is your simple cubic structure now if you go how many atoms are located at the corner there are eight atoms how many at the center zero and at the face is zero now place the formula put it over here 8 by 8 1 Zero upon one zero zero by two zero. So the total atoms per unit cell will be equal to what? The same way, if you go for the BCC structure, you can see how many atoms are there at the corner. There are eight atom. How much at the center? One atom. And how many are there at the face? Is zero. Place the formula. Put the values. Eight by eight plus one by one plus zero by two. That will be equal to two atoms per unit cell. here why one is coming because the at the center of the atom is never shared by any other unit cell that means the sharing is not done with anyone so one is there over here but this corner atom has been shared with the eight different unit cell one at the top one over here one over here that means four and the same plane four in the above or below plane so total eight are there that's why we are putting it eight over here and then for the fcc structure if we go for the fcc how much there are at the corner there are eight atoms at the corner none of them is at the center plus there are six atoms which are there at the faces place the formula put the values your answer will be coming that will be four so four atoms per unit cell are there in the face center cubic and if you go for the hcp 
how many there are at the corners there are 6 plus 6 at the bottom 12 atoms at the corner at the center you can go at the center there is the 3 atoms which are located at the center which these are the 3 atoms which are located at the center and 2 atoms at the faces these 2 atoms they are located at the faces put the formula there is a change in formula as I told you earlier it will be 6 over here for the hexagonal close pair place the formula the atoms per unit cell will be equal to 6 and going for the summary of the crystal system these are the different structures simple cubic body centered cubic face centered and hexagonal the radius which I have given that is the radius of the material or the unit cell number of atoms per unit cell we have discussed now how to find out coordination number is 6 8 12 12 this you have to go for it because when you draw the structure of the unit cell the whole crystal its coordination number will be 6 8 12 12 and atomic factor and your radius this atomic packing factor and the radius we will be covering up how to that how to calculate it in our next lecture and in that there will be a derivation so we will be discussing the derivation of the atomic packing factor for all these four units and then we will be going for the defects which are occurring inside the any of the unit cell clear so this is it for our today's lecture and we will meet in our upcoming lectures till then thank you